So next, we're going to debug it further uh, by using Texas Display. And anything you tie to PD3, and that wires PD3, we can measure both uh, its amplitude and its amplitude versus time plot or oscilloscope on that line. So turn it on. We're on. Uh, so plug it into the output of the of the LEDs. This is the output of the of the microcontroller. We've tied the scope here into um, PE4. So we tied PD3 to PE4. So here I am in Texas Display. Um, uh, we've seen this before. We're just going to open it up. Uh, this will connect me. I'm going to go to oscilloscope mode. Uh, and so now we see that we have the output, which is zero. I'm going to zoom in uh, so that we have a longer time scale. All right, so once you arm it, and you can see now that uh, uh, it's armed, the light is flashing, uh, but something interesting has happened here, and that is, um, I will pause it so we can see, pause. Um, we can see here that this time right here should have been um, 100 milliseconds, but the time between and this one here should have been 200 milliseconds. But in this particular system, it's actually 236 milliseconds, a little bit slower. So rather than oscillating at 5 hertz, it's oscillating a little bit slower. Uh, we'll still call it working. So now let's test and make sure Ramesh interface the LED properly. And we're going to notice that the actual measurements are different than the theory. Uh, the first is if we will notice here that the voltage on the output of the pin here is actually not 3.3, but it's 3 volts. OK, so now move it over to the other side, Ramesh. So now I'm moving it to check the voltage between the LED and the resistor. All right. So uh, we'll pause it, F8. OK, pause it. OK, Ramesh, let's look at the circuit. Uh, the output of the microcontroller goes through the 470 ohm resistor right here to the LED. What we were expecting was to get 1.8 volts across here. Uh, we were expecting a 3.3 volts there. Uh, but you can see what we got. This wasn't 3.3. It actually measured to be 3 volts. And this wasn't 1.8. It was 1.68, which means that the voltage drop across here uh, was 1.32. And if we take that voltage and divide it by 470 ohms, uh, rather than getting 3 milliamps, what we got was 2.8 milliamps. And now, Ramesh, this is very, very close. Uh, but it illustrates the difference between theory uh, and practice. So I'd have to say uh, that in summary, what we had is our system ran a little bit slow, uh, but not too slow. We still call it working. And it had just a little bit less current than we expected, uh, but plenty bright enough for us. So that's it. We built it and tested it. Time to ship it. Yeah.